actually road trends. Road trends. So, okay. uh, so the team has struggled on the road this year. Are there, are there a couple things that stick out as to possibly why? Is it more of just the, the young team trying to find its way on the road? Or what do you see in that respect? Well, it's been. It's not just been the road. It's been a been a tough year all the way around. Um, the, the trend for me is, that, I mean, it's it's what we've talked about all year. Just the the lack of personnel and guys and, and key guys and you know when you have your top defenseman who's played 13 games, that's tough, right? And there's a lot of road games in that and home games in that. So that's been the challenge all year, whether you're on the road or not. Um, you know, we're, we are a young team. We got a lot of first timers in there. We got a lot of guys that are trying to find their way and, and you know the trade deadlines come so we lost some more key guys there you lose Sean Corelli it's it's been it, it's it's a grind it's a challenge but you know whether you're at road or home you you, you got to be up to the challenge you know and you got to you got to settle yourself in and and uh, you know we're going to continue to look for that we got a lot of road games coming here that's I figured that's where you're going here we only got two home games left I think this month so um, it's there's a lot of it coming and we're going to have to uh, you know, really bear down. Yeah, nine out of eleven. So is this is an opportunity for the leaders to really kind of step up and you know really help take charge in that stretch. Yeah, and I think really with where we're at in in our, it's an opportunity for some of our younger guys to take that leadership role, and and not in the sense of standing up in the room of of they've played games now they they're in that forties, fifties, sixties games, and, and and so now you got to embrace the road. You you. You know, at this point in the season, you're not looked at as a rookie anymore. You got to you got to find your way and step up. And there's guys trying to establish themselves. And um, all through our lineup, there's guys trying to make it their imprint in the NHL. So you have to do it on the road, and, and you got to prove that you're an NHL player. So, what better way than do it on the road and, and lead by example? Because you're you're going to have to do it now. You said after the Ottawa game that there were too many passengers. When mm -hmm. looking back at that, is that that's the prevailing thought that you take away from that? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. No. And it it's you know. You look at February where we played really good teams. We were five, three, and two. Could even have been better. We lose that one against Jersey there in the last second and a half, right? So that could even have been a better record. Uh, and all of them are playoff teams that for one, I believe, with, with, with Arizona. So you played some really good hockey against some really good teams. Um, and now we have a little bit less in lineup just due to uh, the circumstance, the trade deadline, so and some injuries, and and so. You're going to have to face it. There's no, there's no hiding. We got to play these games. So we need everybody. We, we, it's all hands on deck, and we can't have one or two or three guys not at their best. It's that competitive spirit has to be there. That, that you know, because the, these Pittsburghs fight for a spot. They're fighting, and, and we're going to face that a lot down the stretch. Your teams that are fighting to get in. So you, you have to bring it in. We can't afford any passengers. Did you dismiss that Ottawa game almost as a one-off? You know, it was a back-to-back, -back and and. You had had that effort out of these guys over the last, you know, several games since the break. You just sort of dismiss that and go forward tonight. Well, you address it and you move on. Yeah. There's no point in just reopening the wound, right? It wasn't good enough, and you know, we had a good practice yesterday, and we played today. That's you got to move by that. I'm gonna address the elephant in the room here, which is this building. Where? Why, is, why is this building? What elephant? Yeah, it's down the hall. Yeah. Why has this building been so tough for you guys lately? Well, the other team has a lot to say with that. Sure. Like they've, they've, you know. The, the Crosby's, the Malkins, and Latangs, and you know, Fleur, you can go back. To, I think someone said that it was 2015, our last regulation win, right? So um, we've had a lot of players and personnel go through here, and it's a tough building. It's been tough on a lot of teams. I don't think we're the only one now. It, it's more magnified when you can't get that one in this building. It would sure be great to get one here tonight. Um, but yeah, they, they're, this has been a team that's been around for a long time and been relevant and, and uh, real tough on a lot of opponents, including us. Talk about some of your challenges with departures and whatnot. With Sean gone, with Gavrikov gone, how, how much does that give you the opportunity to maybe you know try different line combinations, try different pairings, that type of thing, or is it more of a challenge to find the right combinations that you're looking for down the stretch? Well, where it gets challenging is if is if we're, we're we don't have the effort, or if we don't have effort, maybe not they don't have their A game, right? We we can't afford guys to not have their A game um, throughout our whole lineup. I'm not just talking top guys; I'm talking guys that are fighting to prove themselves that they're NHL players. I'm talking about the rookies. I'm talking about our defense goalies, everybody. Everybody's got to be on, um, you know, with, with the amount of guys we still have out and, and what we lost deadline, all those things. Um, we, we, there's not a lot of margin there. So so max effort has to be there. And then you can make your decisions. If, if you, some nights there's too many guys not going, it's hard to put lines together, right? Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, again, we erased the Ottawa game. We're done with that. We've dealt with it. and We're moving on tonight. 
You have, a, you have a few games under his belt now. Lane Peterson, what has he been able to do to, in your mind early on? Well, I, I think he's still trying to find himself. You know, we've put him in, in the center position. I don't know if that's his, uh, you know, his, his strength is in the middle, but that's what we need right now. Um, he's played there, and he, he, but I think I think there's more in his game too. I think there's, you know, we need to see a little bit more of that, uh, you know, the the physicality kind of impacting the game that that he can. We know there's some skill there, um, but you know, it should be a good line. Him, food, food's got great legs. Bemmer, you know, he, he's a little bit snake bit. If we can get him off off the snag a little bit, that would help. So there's something there, and, and he's going to get some opportunity. Your lineup tonight, who's in net? Elvis. And same skaters as Saturday. That's all we got. All you got. <laughs> yep. Okay.